again, it's Michael from Fujifilm. The Fujifilm GFX100 large format digital camera has proven itself to be a fast, accurate, affordable imaging machine. It has a native capture of 102 megapixels and also has a really good internal body image stabilization system. Now, there was a recent firmware release, version 3.0, which added an interesting feature pixel shift capture, and along with that, a free pixel shift combiner app that will work both for Mac and Windows computers. So what the pixel shift capture does is it takes advantage of that in-body stabilization system to move the sensor in microscopic little amounts for 16 frames to give you a file that is about 400 megapixels in resolution. Now you can capture just directly in camera to the SD card. You simply go into the drive, choose the pixel shift combiner, decide how much time you want in between captures, and the shortest will depend on the exposure time, of course. Just press the shutter button and the camera just goes to work and fires as quickly as you can and puts all the raw files right onto your card. You would then take the card, import the files into your computer, and with the Pixel Shift Combiner app, all you need to do is choose the first of the 16 files. The app will figure out the rest. You can choose Destination Folder, and it will combine all of those into one big high-res DNG format file. The DNG file is going to be about one and a half gigabytes in size. Now what's really, really cool about it though is it's fully demosaicked because we are capturing full RGB pixel color information with every capture as the sensor moves around. So that DNG does not need to be demosaicked, it's already done. The other thing you could do is enable the tethered capture so with the camera hooked up directly to your laptop, all you have to do is designate your uh, destination folders for the raw files and where you want your export files to go. Just press shoot. The camera and the computer work together. The files just go right into your hard drive and then the combiner app simply merges them all together into that one big DNG file. Now because it is doing 16 captures in a row, and this takes obviously a few seconds, the camera can't move and the subject can't move. But this is a really, really nice advance for people who need that really high-end level of performance. Check it out. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.